Hi folks, welcome to week seven. This is the first of two weeks where we'll be covering development. Uh, this week we'll be focusing on the earlier stages, so birth through late childhood, early adolescence. But before we get to this week, I do want to applaud you for the quality work that you did with your discussion board posts and responses related to last week's topic. Really thoughtful uh, contributions there. Also, regarding the WITS notes, uh, most of you did a really great job with this, but if you did earn uh, below that A threshold, so less than 36 points, I encourage you to revise your notes and resubmit. So there's not going to be any sort of penalty uh, for having submitted a second time. Uh, it needs to be submitted by week 10, which is also when you do the outline. Now, if you haven't looked at these resources, so the announcement video, guidelines, samples, etc., absolutely do that. But if you're still finding that you have no idea what it is that I'm looking for, or what, what it is that uh, you need to do to have higher quality notes, please, please reach out to me uh, by text, by phone. Um, perhaps we can meet sometime, if not on campus. I'm happy to meet off campus as well, um, you know, if you like Barnes & Noble or coffee shop or something. So get in touch with me. Uh, so we can make sure you're on the right track for the WITS project. All right, now regarding this week's tasks, like I said, we're going to be doing child development. So what we will be first focusing on, of course, is you want to make sure that you get the reading completed. And then after that, you'll do the videos and web links. Really, we're just doing um, required are the videos. So the first one is marshmallow test. This is actually focusing on something that's not in the textbook, but this is a development of emotional intelligence, which is the ability to regulate your emotions, your desires, your impulses. It has to do with cognitive and social development and parenting. The next set of videos are all just short, adorable little clips of children who are exhibiting some key concepts that Piaget talked about. Self-recognition in the initial sensory motor stage, the um, lack of conservation in pre-operational stage, and egocentricism that we see also in that pre-operational stage. The third video that is required is one of the best autism videos that I have seen. It's actually created by a young man who's on the higher functioning end of the autism spectrum. He has a brother who's on the lower functioning end, and he talks about some of the common characteristics that we see in people with autism that differ from neurotypical or what we commonly just call normal uh, young people. Now, if you are going to be doing the blog topic for this week related to uh, how you need to modify your delivery of healthcare when you're working with somebody with autism, you'll probably find this optional link to be very worthwhile. All right, now going into the learning activities, I'll focus in first on the required activity and then I'll finish up by talking about the blog. So this week, what your task is, is to collaborate with a group of classmates, although it's a slightly different set of people than you have typically worked with, and you are going to be creating a collection of wiki pages that together will be a question and answer review of the required reading. So rather than doing your usual group, you'll go into either group A, B, or C. You can see I've made myself part of group A. And the only thing you have to worry about is the wiki. So the way it's set up is you will have a home page, and then all of the other wikis that list questions related to this week's reading will um, branch off from there. Now typically I provide you with the list of questions, but this week it's going to be your job to come up with questions that do a good job of reviewing the text. So each of you is expected to pose two questions. Ultimately, you're expected to provide a response to three questions. Now let me show you how you go about um, providing your questions. Each wiki page that's listed will be a different question. So to provide a question, you'll click Create Wiki Page, and then write your question down here. So maybe you want to ask people about, um, oh, give an example of Kohlberg's moral development, I'm spending it, spelling it wrong, and you're going to say, all right, if you were three years old, how would you respond um, to blah, 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 applying Kohlberg's uh, theory of moral development. And so this would then be Kohlberg's moral development theory. All right, so then you will submit that. So this would have your question, and actually I would like your question to be highlighted and then also you would write your name at the bottom. All right, so we submit that. And now you'll see your wiki page has shown up. All right, so then we go back to the home page, 
and your goal now is to link the home page to that wiki that you just created on Kohlberg. So in order to do that, we need to edit the wiki content and then scroll down to the bottom, Kohlberg's Moral Development. You write it in and you'll highlight it. And then going back up to the top, there's this icon right here that looks like a bunch of overlapping pages. You can see it says link to wiki page. And you will select, if it's not already selected, the page that you want to link to. Click Submit. And now you'll see that it's highlighted. So once you click Submit and it's finalized, other people can go in and can go ahead and click on any of these. This is one that I actually finished on Vygotsky's Ideas. You can see it's highlighted there. And then you're expected to respond to three questions in total. So to respond, you'll click Edit Wiki Content. Enter, write your name, so let's say I'm, um, you know, Ralph Tobias, and I will offer my, my answer, very thoughtful, and then once I'm done, I'll click submit so that my answer is preserved right there, my answer and my name, and you'll go through and answer a total of three questions. One thing I want to draw your attention to, I said that each of you is expected to pose two questions. One of the questions must be answerable using the text. Now it's fine if both of your questions are simply textbook questions. That's fine. But if you feel like you have um, something that maybe is related to this topic of child development but is not covered in the textbook, and you would really be interested in other people's perspectives, um, I've done some additional reading, I have plenty of evidence I can bring to bear. You're also welcome to pose one question that's not necessarily in the textbook to see what folks are thinking, to see what kind of evidence we can bring in. So maybe you want to talk about how to create emotional intelligence in a three-year-old. You could post that as a question. I'll be going in throughout the week to try and organize this, encouraging it to be organized in the way that the textbook appears. Um, your two questions must be posed by Wednesday evening, and then your three questions are due at the end of Sunday. As always, if you have questions about this assignment, please reach out to me, text or email, or of course you can post to our course information section right there. All right, now, the other task that you have for this week is you have an optional blog topic. I've emphasized before that there are four weeks where we're doing blog topics. You're expected to post to two of them. So if you haven't posted yet, you absolutely need to post this week. Our fourth blog topic is going to be related to learning and conditioning. All right, now you're also expected to respond to a topic within each of the four weeks. So if you haven't done this yet, to create a blog entry, you'll click on that title. Click Create Blog Entry. Um, I would strongly recommend that you compose your entry in Word and then paste it in. Be sure to post the entry so everybody can see it. Now, let's say you want to see what other folks have written. You can click on Blogs. You can also get to here by clicking on Course Tools and going to Blogs. You can see all of the blog topics are listed here, so if you want to know what's coming up, you can read about it. And if you wanted to respond to what other people have written, you can go to one of the previous weeks, click over here, it's kind of hidden, but if you click over here, you can see, wow, this topic of stress management was obviously a popular one. And any place you see this little conversation bubble, that means that somebody has already responded to these folks. All right, that's it for this week. Um, I look forward to seeing your contributions, and please don't hesitate to reach out to me as questions arise.